Welcome to this Savant Power install short. In this video, we'll guide you through deploying a Savant Power inverter with a generator connected to the generator port on a parallel system. We'll cover design considerations, single line drawing, physical connections, Savant Power Storage app configuration. Let's get started. For installations with a generator, you have two options for connecting it to a Savant Power inverter. One, connecting to the grid side of the inverter. This option requires a director to monitor the status of the ATS. If you have AC solar, this should be connected to the generator port. This is the recommended solution for both AC coupled solar and a generator. Two, connecting to the generator input on the inverter. This allows us to connect DC solar to the PS20. If you have a generator and AC coupled solar, and you cannot connect the AC coupled solar to the generator port, like option one, you need to contact us for special design considerations. Connecting the generator to the generator port eliminates the need for a transfer switch. In installations with multiple Savant power inverters, a combiner panel is necessary to evenly distribute power from the generator to each inverter. For example, if you have four Savant power inverters, you'll need to feed the generator into an electrical panel on the main lug side, with four equally sized breakers feeding each inverter's generator port. Here's an example of the single line drawing for the system we described. You can see the generator feeding into a combiner panel, which evenly distributes power to each inverter. Additionally, make a generator two-wire start connection from the generator to each of the Savant power inverters to trigger the generator to start. Now, let's look at the physical connections on the inverter. On the right, we see the connection for the generator input. We'll wire from here to the combiner panel. In the middle are our low voltage connections. Connect the two wire generator start leads to the NO1 and COM1 ports. This connection needs to be made at each inverter in the system and wired back to the generator to trigger it to start when needed. Once all connections are made and you've completed the proper startup sequence of each Savant power inverter, refer to our startup sequence guide for more details on that process you'll need to configure the generator port for proper generator control. Start by opening the Savant Power Storage app. Connect to the primary unit. Open the settings menu by tapping the three dots button in the upper right corner. Navigate to the generator port control screen. Ensure the following settings. Set the mode to generator. Set your starting SOC or state of charge. This is the battery charge level at which the generator will turn on to recharge the battery. Set your stopping SOC. This is the battery charge level at which the generator will turn off and stop charging the battery. Set the generator type to Gen Type 1. Set control to Automatic. This will trigger the NO1 port and COM1 port to close, sending the signal to start the generator. Note, if the system is connected to the grid, the generator will not turn on to charge the battery. Instead, the system will charge the battery from the grid. You can configure the No Disturb Time setting, or DND, to prohibit the generator from running during specific hours. If enabled, the generator will run more frequently in the two hours before the DND time to ensure the battery is at the stopping SOC when the DND window starts. This helps the battery last as long as possible during the DND period. Repeat these steps for all additional power inverters in the system. Congratulations! You've now connected and configured your Savant power inverter with a generator connected to the generator port. For more information on other configurations, watch our other Savant power install shorts. Thanks for watching.